Herbert Tuigwe, his wife and son, together with a close family friend in the person of Abimbola Ogumbanjo, chartered an aircraft and were headed to watch the Super Bowl live in Las Vegas. Unfortunately, this helicopter crashed in a desert located in Southern California, USA. As the saying goes, there is no smoke without fire and that is why here at Greylight Africa, we conducted a quick investigation to unravel the mysteries surrounding this crash. First and first, in order to understand why and how this aircraft crashed somewhere in the desert in Southern California, we had to investigate and get the model number of this particular helicopter. Eurocopter EC-13B4 is the aircraft model and it will surprise you to know that from 1975 till this present day, this particular aircraft model, the same one used by Herbert Tuigui, have crashed over 100 times. And interestingly, just last year, this particular Eurocopter EC-130B4 crashed five different times in 2023. Based out of common sense and simple logic, it simply means that there is something wrong with this particular model of helicopters. Anyway, moving on swiftly, while carrying out our investigation, we also looked at the flight part of this particular aircraft. Showing right now on your screen is the exact and the precise flight part. As you can see, this particular helicopter took off from Camarillo and also flew down to Burbank for a quick stop and continued its journey straight to Palm Springs International Airport before taking off to Las Vegas and unfortunately, it crashed in Halloran Springs. Well, this is very, very unfortunate and tragic. At the moment, investigators said it's going to take them one to two years to conduct a proper research and investigation to know what really caused this air crash. But there's something very interesting that we all need to know about this Eurocopter EC-130B4. This aircraft don't have a voice nor flight data recorder installed on the aircraft, which is very, very surprising. Well, for an aircraft that have recorded over 100 unfortunate incidents from 1975 down to 2024, it's a no-brainer to have this voice and flight recorder installed, pre-installed already before any takeoff. Well, the authorities came out to say that this particular helicopter don't need uh, a voice recorder and a flight data recorder installed. So, what really caused this helicopter crash? Anyways. Based on the National Transportation Safety Board, the NTSB, they claim that the weather conditions actually caused the helicopter to crash somewhere in Southern California because eyewitnesses reported that rain and wintry mix were found at the crash location. Well, to correlate this info, we heard something very, very similar from Wanfalaye Olushola, a man who was supposed to travel with Herbert Wigwe in that same helicopter. Olushola changed his mind about traveling by air to Las Vegas to watch the Super Bowl live in person. He stated that the weather condition at that point in time, the night that they were supposed to travel, wasn't conducive for him. So he opted to travel by road instead of using the helicopter which crashed somewhere in Southern California. Well, this same man chose to travel by road instead of traveling by air based on weather concerns. So if a man who has little or no info about the aviation system could detect that the weather conditions wasn't conducive for an helicopter to take off and land in its destination, so why was this helicopter cleared for takeoff in the first place? Well, nobody knows, but on the 29th of January this year, Herbert Wigwe, through his Twitter handle, stated something very interesting that we all need to look at. He stated, Success is meaningless word without failure. I have failed many times, but in every wrong turn, every misstep, there are important lessons. Embrace them. These are the words of Herbert Wigwe, and it clearly shows that yes, anybody can make mistakes, we can all make errors, but it's very, very important to learn from our mistakes and seek success and that is why the whole wide world wants airbus the manufacturers of this particular aircraft to look into their helicopters because of the number of deaths recorded so far well following this incident it is now required and it's now mandatory for all helicopters fuel tanks 
to be shielded from fault and rapture on impact this is a very very good one because this will definitely one way or the other reduce the possibilities of an explosion after any crash in the future this is a good one and kudos to the authorities for implementing this quick and precise change of uh, helicopter design well moving on swiftly for those who are seeking quick and urgent response and info on why this uh, helicopter crash it feels like you won't be getting that information anytime soon because it's going to take investigators about one to two years to execute and carry out a proper research to understand all of the data to look into the parts found and some of the basic components at the crash site it's going to take them a long long period of time to properly get full analysis and get full info why this particular helicopter crashed but in the meantime the government should also look at other helicopters from the same manufacturers from this airbus they have to look into all of the components to be sure that this particular incident won't repeat itself again in the future because of the numbers of deaths recorded under this exact model of helicopter Moving on swiftly and talking about the president of Nigeria, the president in the person of Bola Ahmed Tunubu recently traveled back into the country after spending more than two weeks in France, Paris to be precise. The president left the country on a private trip without giving Nigerians and the whole wide world the reasons why he wants to embark on a trip, a trip which is seen as unconstitutional. In one of our videos, we explained the reasons and we exposed a lot of data and information why the president chose to leave the country and the reasons behind his sudden departure. Anyways, if you want to watch that video and get full clarity, we have that video linked in the comment section. So go down to the comment section and you will find a link to this particular video. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to miss out in the info and data shared in that video. So check the comment section and click on the link and I will see you there. Thanks for watching.